This Casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. Cooking for us today is a man who's been cooking for Tony Sashries and hanging out with little Tony probably longer and more times than anybody else I know. And he always fries the fish at all of our events. Everybody brags on it and goes back for seconds and thirds. Also, he's been telling me how good sheephead is. Now, from my memory, I wasn't too crazy about sheephead the few times I've tried it, but he's gonna do a taste test with me today. So, Jojo, tell us how you uh, prepare this fish. Mr. Joey Bim. Well, what we have here today is bass, and we have a, a sheephead for Tony to try. But what I normally like to do once they're filleted is to uh, take them out of the ice water, and first thing you do is, before you add your mustard, is season them. Then once you add your mustard, I like to put a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper sauce and bit, blend all that together and then dredge it in Tony's fry on. And then from there, another key point is grease temperature, 350 degrees. Okay. You want it to seal the way your fish is not soggy. Now this might be a silly question, Joe, but what do you season it with? I seasoned it with Tony's. <laughs> I just lay them in there. I don't want to put too many at one time because they will clump up on you. And it'll also cool down your grease. Yes. But just get them covered good on all the mustard and seasonings to where they'll have a nice crust. And the key to getting that crust is grease temperature, 350 degrees minimum. All the way up to like 375, 400. Yeah, once you start pushing 375, 400, if you're using commercial uh, cottonseed or uh, soybean oil, it, it may want to smoke on you. You have to use a uh, peanut oil or haul, uh, oil with a higher uh, grease flash. I always use peanut oil too, but my cardiologist says that the healthiest one for me to use is uh, canola oil. Okay, we're gonna go from there right into the 350 degrees. And we're gonna let them fry there till they float up and they're pretty in color. We're gonna pick them up, let them drain for a second. Okay, we've taken the fish out of the fryer, uh, the sheep head and the bass, and I broke the pieces similar in size and thickness to where uh, he possibly can tell us which one's better. Here you go, T. All right. Good. Not bad? Mm -mm. Get you a drink, wash that one down, and we'll try this one. I'm not sure, but I think that's the best. Okay, that's the second piece. Tell me what you think, T. Hmm. They're both good with the old master's recipe. Well, to be honest, I think the second one, they're very, very close, tastes almost the same. I think the second one may have been a little bit better. The second one was the bass. The first one was the sheep head. Okay. But they're both excellent fish when you prepare them right. I can barely tell the difference. I can barely tell the difference. Well, Jojo, like I always say, this is my favorite part of the show. Did a great job and both the sheep head and the bass are delicious. So, as usual, I'm you gonna take the rest of this and go sit at the table with my glass of water and enjoy. I hope you enjoy, T. 